video is going to be just a quick tip about using inverted selection techniques with tools in the voxel workspace such as the cutoff tool or the hide tool. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. I'm going to go to an orthographic view by hitting the 5 key on the number pad. You can also click this little cube icon in the navigation bar. I'm also going to go to a side view which you can also access here. Okay, and starting with the cutoff tool, uh, as you may know, if you want to cut something, you just simply make a selection and it will cut as the name implies. So that's its default action is to subtract. But if you wanted it to cut everything outside of the selection, it doesn't really tell you in a tool tip or anything. So uh, let's see how you could do that. And this could be actually very helpful in a setting like this because you could take an object um, that you have already modeled or worked with and you could create other interesting objects from it. So let's try that. Let's go to again side view and I'm going to create a degraded copy of that. You can also duplicate it here in the box tree layer panel. I'm going to hide the original change the shader and go back to the cutoff tool and so with the ellipse selected I want to punch all the way through so I want to make sure depth limit is not checked Okay, and in this case I don't want to punch a hole I want to actually cut everything outside of the hole so how you do that with the cutoff tool is holding the control shift key and for whatever reason, if you try to hold the control key with the cutoff tool, it doesn't do anything. Maybe Andrew will address that at some point. And so, as you can see, you can make some nice additions to your already existing tool set. The center mass. Scale it down and so on. And so, let's use the high tool now to look at the inversion hotkeys for that. And I'll hide this other part. And so with the hide tool, it's actually very similar to the cutoff tool. If you try and uh, create a selection, it's essentially going to cut out a certain part. Let me hold the space bar so I can move the ellipse around. Okay, lit up and it's punching through, but it's 3D Co is memorizing the last settings uh, that was used with this tool. You can access that from the preferences panel and uncheck it if you if you don't want that to occur. So yeah, let me uncheck depth limit, undo. Hit OK. So, yeah, I've got this punched out, and the good thing about the high tool is you can retrieve parts of your mesh with just a simple selection. So this is really powerful when you want to create these types of openings. So let's use a different type of selection, polygonal lasso. Actually, I'm going to do one other thing with the ellipse first, and that is uh, use depth limit. We'll punch another hole but not all the way through okay and so now with the polygonal lasso can I check that okay and before I finish this up again I need to hold the control key because I want to unhide this selection. And you can see how that works. You can go back with a regular selection. Punch through. And so on. Hold the control key. You can 
and smooth. Come out of orthographic view. So as you can see, you can create some rather interesting additions to a model. And if you want to commit all the hidden parts permanently, in other words, you want to go ahead and cut them out and simply select among the two different options. One is delete the hidden, or if you want to separate the hidden onto another layer, that way they're not completely removed. I'll just choose delete hidden on this one. And if you want to add these to your models palette, you can just quickly just drag and drop. It's going to ask about decimating the model and now you have a new part created very quickly. Before I finish here, allow me to show how to invert the selection of the hide tool. I had almost forgot about that and that was one of the purposes for this video. So let me zoom in here uh, into orthographic view with the 5 key. Side view. And I'll select the other object this time. I'll go ahead and drag, select. It looks fairly close. And all I need to do is hold the shift key instead of the control shift key with the cutoff tool. The shift key alone will punch out everything outside. Okay, so pretty interesting. All right, so I hope that helps, and thank you for watching.